When you take a vial out of a vaccine carrier, it has likely traveled thousands of miles over many months to reach that point. Along the way, the vaccine was stored and transported in different types of equipment to keep it safe and effective. Cold chain equipment is designed to transport or store vaccines and diluents within a required temperature range. At the national and subnational stores, where vaccines may be stored for a few months, equipment depends on the capacity required. Larger stores generally use cold rooms or freezer rooms, while smaller stores use vaccine refrigerators and freezers. And for transporting vaccines between stores, larger shipments require refrigerated trucks. Cold boxes kept in insulated vans are used for smaller shipments. Health facilities typically have two main types of cold chain equipment, refrigerators and passive containers. In general, the refrigerator chosen for each facility depends on the most reliable power supply and the capacity needed to store vaccines and water packs. Health facility refrigerators are powered by electricity, solar energy, gas or kerosene. Ice-lined electric or compression refrigerators are preferred in locations with at least eight hours of reliable electricity per day. Solar or photovoltaic refrigerators are powered by solar panels or battery units charged by solar panels, so they require sufficient sunshine. Some refrigerators are powered by either bottled gas or kerosene. These models do not require either electricity or sunshine, but the temperature control is not as reliable. Typically, a health facility refrigerator should be able to hold at least one month's supply of vaccines and diluents in the refrigerator compartment, additional one or two week reserve stock of vaccines and diluents, a minimum of four water packs in the freezer or cooling compartment. Health facilities use cold boxes to store vaccines temporarily during a power outage or when a refrigerator is out of order or is being defrosted. They are also used to collect and transport vaccines from district stores. Cold boxes are larger, so not only do they carry more vaccines and diluents than a vaccine carrier, they can also hold more water packs and store vaccines for a longer period. Vaccine carriers may also be used to store vaccines temporarily, but they are most often used to transport vaccines to outreach sites. These insulated containers, whether cold boxes or vaccine carriers, are lined with prepared water packs to keep vaccines and diluents at the correct temperatures during transport or short-term storage. Water packs are flat, leak-proof plastic containers that can be filled with tap water. Depending on the type of vaccine in the container and how long it will be held, water packs can be frozen, conditioned, cooled, or warmed to keep vaccines at the right temperature. Now you have a good overview of the different types of cold chain equipment found at most health facilities.